On this tutorial, we are going to see the use of strays. Mostly strays are defined by the hairs that does not follow the actual root of the major line of hair. So if I had this uh, line here and I want to add several strays, I'm going to use a noise. Depending on the frequency of the hair, you can find high frequency strays, mid frequency strays and low frequency strays that's going to resemble to strays that are just slightly moved, strays that are moved quite a bit, and strays that are completely broken away. So to generate the strays, you have different types or, or different ways to generate them. First, you have the mask. That's how you control the overall effect of the stray. Per se, a stray is going to be a noise that is just affecting a minor amount of hair. So it's a noise like this, but the mask needs to be really lower, around 0.1. The only difference is that if I do that, the mask is going to affect all the hair overall. One of the ways to control this is to create a map. But a map is going to be hard to create because it will depend on a noise texture. For action, it's better to control using an expression. And you have several expressions that are quite easy to use. First, you have the random expression that is going to be defined by a rand. And if you're on Maya 2017 or later, you're going to see that you have the, the effect and the information on how to use the actual rand. So you need to put a float mean that's going to be a number. Let's say that I want a number of zero and a float max that it's going to be divided by a comma. So the flow max is going to be a 0 0.2. So it's going to have a value around 0 to 0 0.2 randomly across the surface. And I hit apply. And now you can see that the effect has a little noise around the space. And that little noise, let's close this one here, is going to be seen around some areas only of the hair. Now, there are other ways to control and to create this noise. First, you have the actual load expression samples on Exin. You can go to color and look for a noise C. It's one of the most complex noise, but it has a quite great control. And it's going to generate a mask and a noise that you can control quite a bit. If you go to see well here, you can see that you have a lot of details that you can add here on frequency fine, frequency course that is going to create a more controllable noise. And you can add a contrast to have areas that are just slightly white. And I do not want to create a noise with color because this is a float color that does, does not need any other reference. So I'm going to create something that like this, that it's a noise with a high frequency. Again, this is one of the basic ways to create noise that you can see it here. It's affecting some areas only. But if you want to control a little bit more this kind of noise, there are some expressions that are great to use. If you look here on the 3D artist post from seven pro tips for perfecting hair and for Maya, Michael Todd, one of the, or the lead developer for Exin, shares a lot of information. And he has here one stray, uh, expression that it's great to use these two lines that this one it's for the mask for per percentage and this one is for the strength we are going to see how to use them the first one is going to be the one that is for the mask so it's two lines let's delete this and the two lines that he said it's this one per uh he defines uh a variable percent stray that defines nothing more than the actual slider. So perfect stray is equal to five. That's going to mean that it has uh, a slider. And to define the area of the slider, you will need to put a uh, tag, uh, let's say 0 0.00 to one. I think it was like that. Yep. So. It's going to be a value to one, but I want a value of 100. So now it's going to decide that I can move to 100. And the zero zero that I put here is to define how fast I want this slider to move. 
Now it's going to move just by uh, full numbers. I'm going to use a quite low value so I can actually control a lot. Huh. Oh, you need to put point here. So I, I really want to control with a nice subtle definition there. And the second one, it's defining that it has a random percentage trait divided by 100 and it's a reason. So that's why it's deciding to have all the noise. So let's apply. And you can see here how you can generate a noise that it's going to be controlled by the amount. So you can decide the percentage of the white spots on the noise. This is going to be quite great to control an stray mask. So I'm going to use a low value around 7% of all my hairs are going to be strays. So that's one way to control the strays that is a little bit more advanced and is going to give you the possibility to control just some of them to create a better effect. The scale of that or the magnitude is too high. So I'm going to go to a value of 0.5 and you can see that now I have a subtle effect of some strays that are giving me a nice effect around the hair. So they are just working on some parts. This is how you can control the mask and create strays. On the next lesson, we're going to see how to control the magnitude.